guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of season 2 of Princess Connect Redive. This is going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. My girls, I'm finally here. It's been a while, oh my god, but still, I don't remember their freaking names, but they're finally fucking here. Like, oh my god, you don't know how excited I was to see the preview last week. I fangirled way too much when I saw it. I was like, ah! I was like, finally, I was like, Jesus Christ, because it felt so weird going into season one and not seeing them, like, seeing other characters that I've seen already, and then I'm like, where the heck are these two at, and what's her face? But the fact is that they are finally in this show. I'm happy. We happy. Like, uh, if I, if I was playing the game again, um... Of course, whether it was Japanese or English, of course, those two would be the two that I want. Um, Pacarine as well, because I had Pacarine's her Princess Fest when I was playing the Japanese version. I had Kokoro's Princess Fest. Um, didn't have Carol's, unfortunately. I had a couple other faves, but there's too many. There's too many girls, and there's too many cards, and they're all beautiful as fuck, and, and they're just so freaking pretty. And such. That's why I love when games have them all, all the cards animated because they're so flipping beautiful. And I'm like, <gasps> when you open up the game, you just see him. You're just like, yes, there's my best girl. One, number two, number three, number four, number five, number twenty. Well, that's the worst time to get robbed. Damn. What? Hold up, the mail! Why would you steal the mail? Must have Kokoro. What are you recommend?
What's wrong? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I forgot about her. <laughs> okay, y'all got weapons. I know Kokoro has a weapon. <laughs> her sex appeal. Baby, but you look like a kid, though. baby. I love her so much. She tried no A for effort. She was going at it like, um, what's her face from Simple Gear? <laughs> Damn, we taking a bloodbath? It's pretty water, though. Can you imagine having a big bathtub like that? Oh my god. Best thing ever. So then if that was her in the bathtub, then who was the other one right there? <laughs> I miss him too, Yuki. Mm-hmm. 
I know. I'm not gonna cry, no. Damn it. <laughs> you better. No, baby, that's not true. So, how we doing? <laughs> because you baby. Shit. Hurry, run like you stole something.
Go on. Yeah, there's like six minutes left. What the heck are they going to do for like six minutes? Damn, when they was like, hey, everybody gonna be here this week. They met every freaking body. Oh my god.
because she's so precious. I love her so much. Oh, God, I love her! Stop it! Oh, that was so cute! You happy? Oh god, that's gonna hurt when we get there. I fucking know it. Uh, it ain't gonna hurt for Yuki. Yuki gonna love you no matter what. Carol, that's a whole different ball game. And honestly, I'm not ready to see that. Even like, okay, when we got to that moment, when I watched that moment of the final episodes of season one, when I decided to, well, unfortunately, you know, had to drop the show because copyright. Um,. And because that one person asked me, and I said, you know what, what the hell, I'll go ahead and continue and watch it from where I was. When I finished season one, and Carol was there, I was blatantly wondering if, like, Carol was going to find out. But, since so she's going to find out now, like, oh, like, does that also mean, like, is Carol going to say, hey, you know, I'm working with the fake princess, yada, yada, yada. Um... Because then it's really going to fuck up this group. And they're a little family. And they're there for each other through the good times and the bad. And I feel like once, you know, both Peccary and Carol say these secrets that they've kept from each other for the longest time, it is going to change that dynamic. Like, heavily it's going to probably be one of the most saddest moments in this show and how they're going to react to it love the fact that my girls are finally in this show because oof i needed that in my life thank you for giving me uh, both of them and the saves for both of them in this episode because literally seeing those two together literally between this and idol masters and early girls like thank you because like oh my god when i found out that those two saves like you, you know, because when you want, have a game or a series that has so many see, freaking seiyus that you have heard and so many different animes and games and it's, you're like, oh my god, like, everybody is here. I felt like this is, you know, this is Super Smash Bros, but girl version and such. And so it's like, oh my god, like, we know every freaking seiyu of this damn show for these damn girls. And we're like, yeah, that's what's her face from this. And then, and then, because there's too many. That's why, like, I, I have too many favorites between this and Idol Master Cinderella Girls and Idol Master Million Live. I have too many best girls. Like, I have my initial, like, top five and stuff, but for this, it's too much because you can, you can only have a group of, like, what, five girls and on a team and such. <laughs> It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. But yeah, I think I'm probably gonna, like, I've said this once before, like, the day I said this, I did download the game. I played it for, like, the rest of the night. Then I deleted the game. Maybe I'll probably download the game again and just either start all over entirely or start with the same file that I have for my English one. I know for my Japanese one, I cannot get that back, unfortunately, which sucks. But, um... It is what it is, because I had some really damn good cards on that on my Japanese account, and because I didn't buy my account um, with my Japanese iTunes um, account, of course I'm fucking screwed. So you know, always, always, you know, buying your shit on everything on every little account, whether you're playing on Japanese, English, whatever. Always, always, always connect your accounts, especially when you get a new phone, so that you know your data doesn't delete. Because then you lose all that precious time. I mean, because when you get your best girl or best girls, you don't want the you don't want to start all over. Trust me, I, I can't imagine going back. Like if I if I had a lost all my data for Cinderella Girls or even Bandari, oh, I would have been heated. Like I and we we got close to that. I think that was about like a year or two ago with my old phone. Um. 
because it wasn't working and it like automatically died on me because the battery died and I had to get a new battery and stuff. But oh god, if I had lost my battery, I mean not my battery, my data, I would have been like the meanest upset person you ever seen. I would have been like, I would have tried not to cuss people out, but I've been like, you need to do everything in your power to get this phone to fucking work. <laughs> But yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I think this is now, like, personally my fave episode as of right now. Until we get to the end. But yes, like, the biggest secret is how are Yuki and Carol going to react to Pecorine being the princess and such? And what is it going to do with the, 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 the dynamic of this family that has been together essentially since the beginning of season one going on into season two? So... You know, here's open positive vibes. That's all I want. Be aggressive. Be positive as fuck. I'm just saying. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of season 2 of Princess Connect. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Show the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on Monday for episode 9. Bye, guys.